Today, a celebration of life well lived and a legacy passed on. One of the remaining survivors of the Tulsa race riot is being laid to rest. Two News reporter Brianne Palmarini joins us live from North Tulsa to tell us about the funeral services. Brianne? Well, Eldoris McCondichie was 99 years old when she turned on September 10th, and she died just two days later. Her funeral services are getting started right here now at the First Baptist Church in North Tulsa. Now, McCondichie was only nine years old during the Tulsa race riot of 1921. She was shaken out of her bed by her mother and escaped by running as far as Mohawk Park. Her family says today is a celebration of her life and a way to keep the memory of the Tulsa race riot alive. Her passing is allowing them to reflect on the tragedy. They say it's important no one forgets. They say Eldoris McCondichie is simply known as grandma to them, but she was a very strong woman. She was one of the most humble spirits that I've ever met in my life. Yes, she was. She was a humble person. And I would think that that day, that that morning, had to breathe some of that hum humility into her, and she carried it for the rest of her life. Now, more than 30 city blocks and more than 1,000 homes were destroyed in a fire by the during the Tulsa race riots, and unofficial sources say as many as 300 people died during the Tulsa race riots. Live in North Tulsa, Brianne Palmarini, 2 News works for you.